Hey, what's up guys? Justin with americantrucks.com and welcome to another installment of our popular customer build series. This is a series, of course, where we chat with different customers, you guys from all over the country about your rigs, about your modifications, and maybe give some other fellow truck owners some ideas for their F-150s at home. Now today we have a man named Dana from Orlando, Florida. Now Dana's got a 2010 4.6 truck that's been on the road and been all over the road, I should say about 300,000 miles on this thing. But believe me when I tell you guys, he's taking great care of his truck and uh, it looks brand new. Dana's got a lot of killer mods going on his 2010 as well, kind of a Raptor theme as you guys will see in a bit. But if you want a complete breakdown of Dana's modifications, check out his build page back on the site, of course, americantrucks.com, or if you happen to be catching this on YouTube, just go ahead and click on that link below and we'll bring you right there. In the meantime, Let's catch up with Dana from sunny Florida. Hey Dana, Justin here. So you actually saw our how to create your own Raptor video a couple years ago and you thought, well, hell, that's a good idea for my own truck, huh? I did, that's exactly what I did. And the interesting thing is, I, this has always happened. I drive down the road and I can see a Raptor coming up in my rear view mirror and he'll go from the left lane to the right lane and he'll look at it, he'll try to figure out what the heck is that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's great, man. So, I mean, you got a lot of the parts going on. Obviously, let's start with that grill. I think that's probably the most popular mod, I think, for your generation truck. It seems like it really changes the whole appearance. Uh, I absolutely love it. As you can see in my, uh, before I started building this thing, if you look at the front grill, they put the yellow lights in the front. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, that would be cool. That's and another it, popular it, mod, though. I tell you, people that don't want to change the grill but get some of that Raptor vibe, you know, the three lights up there, and that's that's a pretty easy way to switch it up a little bit, too. Yeah, yeah, the grill is, is absolutely beautiful. I tell you, I go outside and I open the garage, man, and I just look at it, man. It's like, oh, this is cool. But speaking of that Raptor style, Dana, we also got the flares on as well. And uh, how was your experience with those? They fit pretty good for you? They do, they do. So a lot of the mods I did myself. The flares, I took it to a buddy of mine and he put the flares on for me. And I wanted to do certain things the right way. And, and those flares really, I absolutely love it. Good deal. Now, I know we, we, we talked briefly before this about the headlights, you got them somewhere else, but I think they really do look sharp. and. Um, I think maybe most importantly, that bumper though up front, I mean, that really toughens up the front end of that truck, I think. Yeah, that that's those front and rear bumpers are the highlights of my my truck. I put those on by myself. I have three boys, my older boys, and you know, I couldn't wait for them to come home. I said, I'm gonna do it myself. So I was an electrician for many years as well, so I did all the lights, the LED lights, and ran all the wires back, and it came out really nice. You guys do a really great job. I bet it lights up them Florida roads pretty good, huh? It does. I use them mostly when I go to North Carolina. My house is in a rural area. It's out in the country, and there's no lights. And man, when I, I pull up, it's on family property, and I pull up, and I turn all of them on, man. The rear ones, the front ones. <laughs> oh, I bet, man. You probably think it's a UFO coming down the road. Yeah, they know I'm in town. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. That is awesome. And so you wired all them up yourself. You'd say that was a pretty easy job? I actually put in some beautiful rockers. I took the ones off that came with it and put my own rocker switches on the inside of the truck, so. Well, and then you also got some WeatherTech goodies going on as well. I did put the WeatherTech mats in, also the WeatherTech uh, window. Uh, guards on it on the outside, the reflectors. I put those in and got those from you guys. So really love the WeatherTech mats. Even though we don't have snow here in Florida, we do get quite a bit of rain and mud. And, and they, they really help prolong the carpet. You just pull them off, hose them off. You know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I love that. So we talked front end, obviously you got the rear bumper to match the barricade as well. But I think with changing the appearance, you can't change it without changing the wheels and tires. And uh, I think you got the pro comps on there, correct? I got the pro comps on there. I put in the, the Toyo uh, open countries. I didn't want to do a really high lift on it. My wife is all of five feet tall. So I put the uh, Bilstein uh, shocks in and I had the whole front end rebuilt, up, upper control arms new ball joints, all new shocks. Pro comps are really, I absolutely love them. And how about the Toyos? Do you like those? Are they pretty quiet on the highway? I do, they're very quiet. Like I said, I do a lot of traveling. I go back and forth to the Carolinas. I see you also got the matte black hood decal. Did you do that yourself or did you have your buddy do that at the body shop? I, I did that myself. I ordered that from you guys and I uh, did that myself. My truck is a ton of miles on it and I'm uh, getting a little rust on the hood. I'm gonna change that. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet. You and I were talking, but these guys don't know. You have a, uh, almost 300,000 miles on that 2010, man. And it still looks brand new to my eyes on your picture. 
years. So obviously take good care of that thing. But if you want a complete breakdown of Dana's modifications, check out his build page back on the site, of course, americantrucks.com. Or if you happen to be catching this on YouTube, just go ahead and click on that link below and we'll bring you right there. Now we talked to a lot of our customers about maybe future modifications, what you have in mind for maybe down the road. Seeing as though you're never gonna let go of the truck and you told me yourself, you said you're gonna keep this thing forever. Is there something that you really have been eyeing up maybe for your next modification? I'm always looking at your website, looking at your videos. Right now, I'm looking at your exhaust system online, also your braking system. So I'm looking at upgrading the braking on that at some point, new calipers. I've changed the rotors, but I think I want to do a more of an upgrade on the rotors. But I like to ask guys uh, if there's any one modification that really makes a difference, that really made an impact, or maybe that uh, you really thought totally transform the truck, what would it be? Those barricade bumpers, man, absolutely love them. They change the profile of the truck. As I mentioned before, I get a lot of Raptor owners pull up and they go, okay, I don't have those on my truck. <laughs> those are really awesome, man. Well, hey, Dana, thank you so much for joining me today, man. I really appreciate it. Again, the, the truck looks beautiful and here's another 300,000 more miles, huh? Thank you, Justin. Thank you for the time. All right, well, there you go, guys. That was Dana and his 2010 XLT, a 4.6 liter truck. And man, for having nearly 300,000 on the clock, that thing looks practically brand new. So good job, man, keeping that thing clean, Dana. Tasteful modifications, I really dig the truck, sir. And hey, we hope you guys enjoyed Dana's video. If you want a complete breakdown again of his modifications, check out his build page back on the site, americantrucks.com, or click on that link below if you're watching this on YouTube. In the meantime, I'm Justin, thanks for watching. And for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.